how are you? Hope you had a wonderful day. Again, we're glad to be into your homes here on CBC TVA. This program entitled Family Forum, Church of Nazarene Family Forum. Um, we're coming to you um, focusing on a number of issues relative to family life. And we're hoping that as we share, we would be able to initiate discussion um, on some of these issues because we believe, we earnestly believe that as these issues are addressed um, across the board, that we'll be able to build a better Barbados. So I like to re repeat our objective. So we trust you've had a great day so far. I know that some people like to sleep in the evening, so maybe some of you are now getting up from your beauty sleep, <laughs> evening sleep, your nap. And um, we are glad that you're here to share with us. Why not call a friend um, or a family member and invite them to spend the next half hour with us? Well, today we are focusing on pray. Um, pray, why pray? And of course, pray as it relates to specifically um, pray and Christian witness in the family. Um, that's the first program. This is the first of two programs. The second program, we will be specifically praying about a number of issues in the family. All right? So these two programs then, we are focusing on pray and uh, its impact on family life. And uh, um, of course, with me again, I have my co-host, Evan Kelvin. Good evening, sir. A very pleasant evening to you and a very pleasant evening to our, our wonderful viewers. All right. Mm -hmm. you want to give us the opening prayer? Almighty oh, God, we give you thanks today for the gift and the privilege of prayer. We thank you, Lord, we have a God who is inclined to us and he hears us even if we open our mouths, Lord. I pray, God, today that as we will seek to, to speak with the issue of prayer, it would motivate persons, Lord, to want to pray, to want to come before you, to understand that there's power in prayer. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. All right. Viewers, we'll be back with you in a moment as we continue our focus on prayer and Christian witness um, in the family. In a moment, back with you. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. All right, we're back with you. Again, as I said, today we are focusing on prey and uh, how it impacts the family. And uh, first, I want to share with you a Bible verse which speaks to the significance of prayer. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, verse 6, and uh, so verses 6 and 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God which, which transcends all understanding will guide, will guard your hearts and your minds. Will guard your hearts and your minds. Of course, I'm reading from the NIV. Um, so, Word of God invites us to present our concerns, bring them before the Lord, and uh, sometimes we don't do that. Um, pray oftentimes may become last resort. But 
the word of God reminds us to present our concerns. Mm -hmm. But I just want also to define prayer. Um, well, you know, we know that prayer is talking with God. Uh, I not talking to God. Mm -hmm. It's a conversation. Talking with God mm -hmm. is a two-way means of communication. Of course, not only talking. Talking involves listening as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> listening. But I wanted to share um, Mark Batterson's perspective from his book, Draw the Circle. And here's what he said about prayer. He said prayer is the difference between appointments and the divine appointments. Prayer is the difference between good ideas and God ideas. Prayer is the difference between favor, the favor of God, and what we call the luck of the draw. Mm -hmm. Prayer is a difference between closed doors and uh, open doors. Prayer is a difference between possible and the impossible. Prayer is a difference between the best we can do and the best God can do. Have I Kevin? Very interesting. You yes. know, um, and uh, I... I for one of the things that have become, that have become uh, so clear to me mm -hmm. has to do with the element of prayer in terms of its power to, to change, mm -hmm. to change situations, mm -hmm. but also yes. change us as well. Yes. And uh, I think sometimes, sometimes, sometimes mm -hmm. we forget that piece, you know, mm -hmm. that, that, that prayer also changes us as well, changes our perspective, mm -hmm. causes us to see things um, from a more godly uh, kind of view, yeah. and uh, therefore, even as we pray, you know, uh, God goes to work in changing our lives as well. Mm -hmm. And and uh, uh, the other thing which I, which has become even uh, more more apparent to me over the last few months and years, as I read more of psychology, is the the promotion of prayer and. Uh, and spirituality, you mm -hmm. know, of course, they will make it very general, but we know yes. it to be our, our faith in Christ, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, and, the, and, the, and the effect it has on persons being able to manage the vicissitudes of their lives, the stresses yes. of their lives. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, once upon a time, there was a, a very antithetical uh, yes. reality in terms of psychology and, 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 and faith. And spirituality. And spirituality, yes. but now mm -hmm. uh, it almost seems as though uh, they begin to merge in a yes. way that, Realize uh, that that psychology is saying, "Oh yes, you know, having faith in, you know, having faith is important in terms of being able to function and to function effectively." So, mm -hmm. so we always knew that, though. That's yes. that's not new for us. Yes. Um, yes. That there's there's tremendous power mm -hmm. in in prayer. Yes, mm -hmm. I like what you said, Reverend Kelman, that prayer don't only change situations, but miraculously, prayer can change us. Mm -hmm. In fact, I remember a definition someone has given, and they simply say that prayer is change. Mm -hmm. Prayer is change. Mm -hmm. And that's good news. As much as you know, <laughs> I, I think we take the, 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 the personal connection of prayer by trying to use words and language, you know, these and those. It is just simply a conversation yes. with God. And uh, uh, natural, you know, um, uh, we tell God, you know, how we feel. We listen to God. We don't try to, to make it sound pretty. Mm -hmm. You know, we just we just see the God exactly what we're going through. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I always use a verse that says, broken and a contrite heart, God will never turn away. So so, so the, the element of becoming broken before God, even as we share, mm -hmm. is an, an important healing mm -hmm. process. There's they those who say, well, why pray? God already knows mm -hmm. what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. So why do I have to tell him? Yes. But is the prayer for us or is the prayer for God? And it's for <laughs> us. <laughs> he knows, but he wants us to come. Yes. You know, as a, as a parent, sometimes we, we can see our children mm -hmm. having certain struggles. Yes. But he wants to talk to us. We don't want us to impose our will on them. Exactly. You know, when so they, when it they, shows that. Our dependence yes. on our parents, yes. our dependence on God. Yes. He knows, but a confession, yes. an understanding, you know what? Yes. My parent knows better than I can. That's or right. 
my parents that helped me through the situation. Is it prayers out of humility? Yes. No, prayers saying, you know, Important. yes, it's prayers saying, I, I really don't have the answers here, you know, yes. Father. I don't, yes. I don't understand it, you know. Um, I may have some ideas about it, yeah. but I, I want to submit to you, yeah. you know, who possess all knowledge. Yeah. Please, omniscient. And, and, and all power, all power you know, power. and uh, therefore I'm going to subsume, I'm going to, I'm going to give in because I want your will and purpose to be accomplished yes. uh, in my life and in this situation. Yes. So it's really an act of, of humility yes. uh, before right. God. Right, right, true. Yes. Act of humility. Yes. And, you know, I, I think that we should not make prayer though a last resort. <laughs> Uh, it's a human thing. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of it too. All of us are guilty of it. Yes. It's only when we have um, you know, done all the wrong, so to speak, yeah. <laughs> and uh, things have not worked out. Then we come and say, well, Lord, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. You know, I, I watched <laughs> an event on food, and I, uh -huh. I'm, I'm sure the world watched it as well many years ago, mm. and they won one. Yes. And um, you know, after that event, all the churches were open for prayer. Yes. You know, uh, and, and we filled in an amazing way. You know, and, uh, and I thought of myself, but you know, um, though, though good that they still mm -hmm. understood the part that there is in prayer, it would make so much more sense if yes. that became a part of our of our diet. Yes. Or or, or you know, mm -hmm. uh, or our schedules or yes. it becomes a, a a regular activity yes. that we engage in, not not yeah. just because uh, we we need to uh, or, or we or we think it's good. No, are we are we reacting? Right, but we but reacting. that we see as being proactive, so we see as yes. being important and essential part of our life to our to our lives. Yes. You know, yes, yes. yes. So um, viewers today, yes, you know, we say we 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 don't like to just do programs because we can. And we were feel we felt led to zero in on pray, um, and how the family, how critical it is for the family. So today we're going to proceed along that line. Today's program, as I said, pray and Christian witness in the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what, we, what we're going to do, uh, rather than talk generally there, some specific examples we want to zero in on and see what lessons you can learn from there. Reverend Kelman is going to start us off as he zeroes in on an example of how prayer works in the family. And of course the example... Uh, we have alluded to before of our earlier programs. Mm -hmm. uh, it focuses uh, on Susanna Wesley, mm -hmm. uh, the mother of, of John and uh, Charles Wesley. Of course, uh, she had 10 children, mm -hmm. uh, 19, 19 and all, yes. uh, but uh, none would have died yes. in childbirth or in infancy. Yes. And uh, 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 John Wesley, in his journal, uh, 1742, uh, August the 1st, I think it was the death of his mother. Mm -hmm. He wrote um, about her, her principles in terms of parenting and prayer featured very prominently uh, among those principles. And uh, she, he talked about her having a, a, a desire for her children to have devotions, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, and, and John Wesley said that uh, just as soon as, as the children were able to speak, his mother taught them to, to pray, mm -hmm. and she taught them the, the, the Lord's Prayer, yeah. you know, which they had to recite, you know, at rising and at, and at bedtime. Uh, so devotion was a very important part of, of their lives. As a matter of fact, uh, John suggested that his mother would find time for each one of them every day. Mm -hmm. Imagine having 10 children. <laughs> You know, and uh, for the and for, the, for each one every day, <laughs> and she would she would she would pray with them. Um, she would help them to uh, find ways to worship. You know, uh, and music that was a very important aspect um, of her of her parenting. She would have them to to recite the psalms and to sing the psalms as well. No mm -hmm. wonder Charles Wesley has become a great hymn writer. There you go. You know, uh, there you go. because it was from very young inculcated yeah. um, in them. And of course, you know, mm -hmm. she was very stringent in terms of of Sunday. That was a time for reflection, mm -hmm. a time for, um, you know, staying indoors and doing the things that were important for her in terms of making the day uh, a very special day. Uh, and so you see that there was, there was, there was lots of prayer, uh, lots of, of reading of scripture, there was lots of, 
of structure as well in how she dealt with her with her family. And of course, I mean, we can't read all of the stuff, yes. um, but there's also a strong emphasis on education mm -hmm. and discipline. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 10 to 12, the two to five were the, the times for, for education, and she was very, very, very strong on the children, you know, staying and doing their lessons and not, not leaving, hastily to go to the bathroom or wherever. She was very, very focused in terms uh, of this, but, but it was all, it was all done on a bed of prayer and devotion um, to God. And uh, I believe that this is very, very important. And even though times have changed, this is 1742, mm -hmm. I believe that the efficiency and the, and the, and the effect of prayer remains the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, for, for my own life, you have a family, you know, I have a mother who, who would pray for us, you know, even now, uh, if there's a difficult time in my life, I would go to mom and say, listen, have the challenge, could you pray for me? Mm -hmm. And of course she would. And uh, I, I'm sure many times, you know, uh, God has come through for me because of, of the, those prayers that, that, that have been sent forth um, mm -hmm. to, to heaven. So, so Susanna Wesley, mm -hmm. uh, the mother of, of John and Charles Wesley and eight others mm -hmm. uh, who were alive, uh, recognized and practiced the principle of prayer, her family, and it made a huge difference in the lives of, of, her, of her children and her family mm -hmm. at large. Yeah, listening to the story, I say to myself, wow, I mean, that was discipline on her part as well. Of course. Yes. And, um, of course, we, we know the results mm -hmm. um, demonstrated in the life of John Wesley. It was, it was a full of, of Methodist Church. Outstanding preacher. You know, and... Uh, Turning uh, angle upside down. Yes, a man of... In those of, dark days, he was able to be persistent. Yes. He was persecuted. Yes. He was stoned. Sometimes stood bleeding. Yes. And preaching. Yes. Sometimes... What the eggs were thrown at him. Mm -hmm. You thought how he rode from mile up and down yeah, on, on his horse. <laughs> on his horse. Yes. Right. Yes. At that time, England was in a very dark place, mm -hmm. and he was very instrumental in changing, bringing revival mm -hmm. to England. Yes. Yeah. And it just goes <laughs> to show the whole idea of purpose. Yes. And alignment, mm -hmm. and the, the need for for that spiritual connection from very young. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so that you know, persons can fulfill their course yeah. as God has established. And you're right, though. Um, John Wesley is a figure in our history that that stands erect uh, in terms of his of his prominence. Yeah. Uh, even in terms of Nazarene, of course. You know, um, you yes. know, and I, right. I, have a, I have a friend who <laughs> who would always say, "Be Reverend Farley." You know, I don't call his name here. Mm -hmm. He's a Baptist minister. He, he always say, "But you guys are." Uh, 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 Methodist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, you're a Methodist, you know. You are, you are children from, from, from a, a, different, a different place, but you're, you're, you're part and, of the family. And he's right. He's and, right. He's, and he's right, you know. Yeah. He's right. I did, I did a, yeah. a, a seminar for him, for him recently. Mm -hmm. And he said, my little, little brothers and sisters, my, yes. you know, I have yeah. the same father. Yeah. You know, I smell, we smell, you know. Um, so, so John yeah. Wesley. And, and let's not discount Charles as well, because, you know, the great the hymns, hymns of the church. The great hymns of the church, yeah. you know, and that was all fomented. Yes. You know, during that time of prayer okay, and, 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 and sing of the Psalms, yes. uh, which is mother practice uh, with the children. So, so we are here talking not in isolation. Yes. But Kama, I, I want to interject here. You mentioned your mom praying, and just as I sat here and listened, I remember my my um, parents. Mm -hmm. um, of course, my um, grandfather and grandmother in particular. I remember them praying. Every morning, they got to about four o'clock. Mm -hmm. I kid you not. And they would pray until the sun came up. Wow. Right? And uh, they would take turns. I hear my grandfather would start first. And then my grandma would pick up. You know, we were sleeping. Mm -hmm. I suppose in that time, you know, we, mm -hmm. you, yeah, but, but it was sleeping, right? But not disturbed. Mm -hmm. But in the back of your mind, you can you hear the pray. Mm -hmm. And it was a daily thing. Mm -hmm. And they would call each child by name. Wow. And then sometimes they would pray for the whole district, start one corner and come right down. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that was a daily thing. Wow. And I could remember those prayers for us. Mm -hmm. And they would say Martel, they would say Matthew. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't say the children mm -hmm. or the grandchildren. They call us by name. Wow. 
and situations that impacted us, mm -hmm. they will they will pray for us. Yeah. And now we become <laughs> as a as a as a nation, uh, as a community, we become. What you would what you would say sophisticated, yes, you know, um, secularized. Yeah, but <laughs> I I still believe, and I know for sure mm -hmm. that there is a place for prayer mm -hmm. you know, in the lives of of, of our families, yes. lives of our, of, our, of our nation, and I, I I really want to call the children of God. Back to prayer, though, and, and I, I believe it's the it's the bedrock call. for our entire entire mm -hmm. nation. You know, um, we need the favor that you said of God um, to rest on our on our country, and and as we pray, God responds to us, and, that, and that's that's the beauty of it, mm -hmm. Farley. You know that that God almost waits for us. Yes. You know, not almost He waits for us. Yes. Yeah. And when we when we bow our, our heads or or our knees in prayer, you know, God is ready and right there to respond, um, to, respond to us. Not, not always what we want, though. First, but he responds to us. Yeah. Sometimes he says no. Sometimes he says wait. Yes. He inclines his ear. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I want to use another illustration. Um, perhaps you can take a quick break here and come back. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. All right, we're back with you. Again, we want to use another example. Um, I, I'm sure you've heard of St. Augustine. Um, we want to zero in on his mother's prayer for him. Now, who, who is he? He was born around 354 AD. Um, he eventually became a theologian, a philosopher, and a bishop. And uh, was referred to, the most, to as the most significant Christian thinker um, after St. Paul. He laid the foundation for much of the medieval and modern Christian thought. But of course, prior to that, he rebelled when it came to Christendom and so on. And, but his mom, his mother, I think her name was Monica, prayed earnestly for St. Augustine. Of course, at 16, we are told he left as in three 71 AD, he sneaked away from his mother's um, home and Monster. during the night and sailed away to Rome, leaving her alone in tears. Mm -hmm. And her praise, she was crying, and when she cried, she wept. That went on for some time. Mm -hmm. How were these prayers answered ultimately? Um, not the way his mom intended because she was hoping that he wouldn't leave and go um, to Rome. But Augustine himself wrote some years later, and what did she beg of you, my God, with all those tears and praise? If not that you would prevent me from sailing. But you did not do that. Instead, in the depth of your wisdom, you granted the wish that was closest to her heart. For she saw that you had granted her far more than she asked for. You converted me to yourself, so that I no longer place any hope in this world, but stood firmly upon the rule of faith. And you turned my turn her sadness into rejoicing, into joy, far fuller than her dearest wish, far sweeter and more, indeed, far sweeter and more chaste than she had hoped to find. Reverend Calvin, St. Augustine. Yes, um, very, very, very significant, you know. 
uh, and even though he was sent away, yet the the the, the reality of his, of his mother's prayers mm -hmm. were still very, very, very present with him. You know, and uh, I think that offers us, though, even as parents, mm -hmm. uh, a good model. Yes. You know, for 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 parenting and, and for prayer. Persevere. Persevere. Persistent. But even when we are not there, mm -hmm. the prayers that we have prayed can, can function. Can function. Can be effective. Amen. You know. Amen. Um, Amen. And uh, sometimes I, I, you give up. Yeah. And again, a little bit controversial here, but that's all right. <laughs> you know. And it sent me this though that that the 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 person we're praying for may not necessarily have faith. That's right. But that's our right. prayers mm -hmm. in faith yes. can still have a, yes. a profound impact yeah. on those that's individuals. Important. Because at that time, um, St. Augustine, there was no yes. interest. Yes. No interest in God. Yes. But he became an outstanding yes. bishop as well. Yes. You know? Yes. Um, and he confessed that his mother prayed. That's right. God gave, God was saying he didn't want her walking to to travel right and, and left her so to speak yeah but god as he said god gave her a greater conversion conversion this conversion yeah yeah and, yeah 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 and 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 i really want to to uh, uh for i really want to underscore that though yes uh the the um, i just have persistence in prayer but but mm -hmm. more than that though i want to underscore the fact that that when we pray god does things that even go beyond all what is imagination, right. mm -hmm. you know, and uh, let's not give up, let's not give in. Yes. Um, even for that prodigal son, a prodigal daughter, mm -hmm. you know, who we have raised in, in, in a way, yes. uh, in terms of, of their left faith home. and left home, yes. right? Let's not we give up. Rebelled. That's right, let's not give up. But just like the father, yes. um, who would go and look, you know, um, for that boy every day, yes. let's keep looking in prayer, yes. you know, yes. for those children who may not mm -hmm. have gone the way that we would have wanted yes. as parents. Well, thank you for sharing. There is a time has, time has slipped by so quickly. But we hope we kind of excited your interest. Perhaps you can do some reading for yourself and mm -hmm. check out the life of John Wesley and Charles Wesley and of course St. Augustine and see how God can move and change their lives. And as parents in particular um, and guardians to pray for your charges. Father, we thank you for the focus today. We pray for those um, parents who are there who may be having challenges and perhaps who have been praying but who have given up, who stop praying for their children and for other family members. May they be encouraged and uh, to realize that this example is a living example, one that left a powerful legacy. When we pray, we don't know. Pray is we, we, we talking and sharing with God how we feel. The rest is left to him in his wisdom. He is omniscient. He's all powerful. He sees into the future we can't. So we just pray and place it in his care. So I pray that even now, those parents that are struggling would not give up. But you yourself would deepen your relationship with God and continue to pray for your charges in your whole soul. Father, we thank you again. May these truths be embedded in our hearts and our lives. For Christ's sake, amen. All right, viewers, we'll see you next program where we continue to focus on prayer. We'll spend some time specifically praying for family concerns. See you next time.